Well, stepping outside, we're off to a comfortable start for your weekend plans. Starlit conditions all around. Here's light dual pole Doppler radar again animated over the past hour, not tracking anything, but up to the north. We're tracking our next inbound cold front. It's not going to bring any major changes in our direction throughout the overnight, but wind speeds out of the north, that's going to set us up for even flawless fall weather for your Saturday afternoon. But up and down temperatures, that is what we're going to be tracking. So get prepared for a bit of a roller coaster ride, but it's also going to be uh, coming with chances of rainfall, especially by the tail end of my 7 day forecast. Currently, we're looking at temperatures upper 50s, lower 60s. Currently 50 degrees already in Harlem with the calm winds, a northwest wind of five miles an hour from uh, Epley Airfield with temperatures again pretty comfortable for this evening. So here's daybreak tomorrow. Temperatures around that time in the upper 40s, lower 50s and temperatures will be warming into the lower 60s by the time we get closer to lunchtime tomorrow. And then we can conclude the afternoon with temperatures in the upper 60s. Some of us in the lower 70s, but all in all, pretty seasonable for tomorrow afternoon. Then by Sunday morning, we're going to be introducing cloud coverage high to thin level cloud coverage for tomorrow for Sunday morning. Then as we get closer to the early afternoon into the early evening, clouds thickening, maybe translating to a small chance of a passing shower, maybe a sprinkler too, but that's about it for your weekend. For tomorrow afternoon, the kickoff forecast with the uh, Wildcats coming into town down in Lincoln Memorial Stadium, upper 60s, lower 70s all weekend long, just absolutely gorgeous. For your Saturday, we included a 20% chance of showers for Sunday afternoon. Then the main event for us for next week really gets underway late Monday and a Tuesday. Here's that brief chance according to this uh, European computer model. Then we can see upwards to maybe three quarters just shy of an inch of rainfall all throughout next week. But I'm not advertising a complete washout, but just something to warrant to have the rain gear on standby because it's going to be quite active with temperatures again warming up into the upper 70s briefly for Monday. Then more impact weather with showers and thunderstorm chances, lower 60s to upper 50s for highs. All right.